In today's video, we're going to discuss how to account for freight costs when a company is purchasing merchandise for resale in both the perpetual and periodic inventory methods. But before I get into that, I want to mention that I believe something great is going to happen for you today. And now back to the video. If you're someone who keeps confusing perpetual and periodic inventory methods, give this video a thumbs up. That way I'll know to make more videos like this to help you sort it out. Thank you. In this video, well, we're going to discuss how to journalize the freight costs for the merchandise being shipped to the company. I did a prior video showing how to account for the actual purchases of the merchandise for inventory. If you missed that video, I've linked it up here for you. In this video, we're going to talk about the freight costs to deliver that merchandise to the company that will resell it. And here we're going to talk about FOB shipping point. FOB stands for free on board. Shipping point means that it changes hands. The legal ownership of the, of the merchandise changes at the time it is shipped from the seller to the buyer. And the buyer is responsible for the freight costs. So that is why the company that we're accounting for here, they are the, they are the buyer. They are buying the merchandise for reselling to somebody else, and they incur freight costs of $150, and they're going to pay cash for that freight cost. In the perpetual inventory system, we need to account for that cost, and we're going to place that cost in inventory. We're just going to add that cost to the cost of the inventory and ultimately it will then flow through to the cost of goods sold when that inventory is sold. So we're going to debit the inventory for $150 so we're actually capitalizing it as an asset. That inventory, that shipping costs are going to be debited to the asset of inventory and we're going to credit our cash account because the cash is going down by the $150 that is being paid. You have now properly accounted for the freight costs for FOB shipping point under the perpetual inventory method. Now let's look at the periodic inventory method. We're gonna use the same $150 of freight costs but in the case of periodic inventory method, we're going to place this freight cost into a temporary account called freight in. I'm going to go ahead and debit the $150. And just like in the perpetual method, the periodic method, we're going to credit the cash because the cash has gone out to pay the carrier. You have now properly accounted for the freight costs for FOB shipping point in the periodic inventory method. Now you're knowing a little bit more about it, but there's much more to know. So for more information such as this, sign up for my free email updates under askprofessorcapco.com and subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell so you will not miss a single video. Thank you.